hi everyone the previous video we have studied the selection statements this video is about the iteration statements iteration statements are used to execute a block of code multiple times there are three types of iteration statements for loop while loop and do while loop in this video we'll explain about the for loop and while loop and do while loop will be explained in the next videos let's move to the code now uh, let me write a piece of code here then I'll explain you about the for loop I'm declaring a variable I uh, I'm writing for for I is equal to 0 I less than 5 I plus plus and now I'm writing the definition of the for loop for printf hello a backslash n over here I'm writing the semicolon to end the statement so I'll just compile it and run it so hello in this will be printed five times now let me just explain you the for loop syntax this part is called initialization this is called condition and this is called updation so what we have done here is we have done i is equal to zero then i less than five and i plus plus and then write printf with just one printf this printf hello will be printed five times by the help of this loop now we will explain you that how this loop will is work so it enters in the main function declare a variable i then i is equal to 0 then 0 comes over here 0 less than 5 it's true so it will print this hello then it goes to the increment i plus plus it becomes 1 then it again checks for the condition 1 less than 5 it's again printed hello and it's again goes back to the increment 2 2 less than 5 then again hello 3 3 less than 5 yes it's true again hello 4 4 less than 5 it's true 5 5 is less, less than 5 so it falls so hello will be printed 5 times so here is the output so you can see that hello will be printed 5 times I'll just print the value of i over here so you'll be more clear with the terms I just compile it and uh, run it so i is equal to 0 for the first time then it goes here increment 1 less than 5 i is equal to 1 for the second time then it goes again to the increment 2 2 less than 5 i less than 2 for the first time then it goes back again here 3 3 less than 5 i 3 4 4 less than 5 i is equal to 4 5 5 less than 5 which is false then 5 is not printed so this is how the for loop work and uh, now we'll talk about some infinite for loop there are two ways to make infinite for loop one is the condition should be always true so if I make the condition here i less than 5 and make it a decrement over here so how this will work i is equal to 0 0 less than 5 minus 1 so this keeps on decreasing then the loop will work infinitely let me just check the output you see the loop is working infinitely it will not stop so this is how you can make the loop infinite to make the condition always true or you can just skip every part of it the not the initialization the condition and the updation every part of it just put two semicolons over here here initialization here in between condition and here is updation just skip every part of it and uh, just give a value over here to i5 and now just compile it and run it so it is also the infinite loop it keeps on printing the value of i which is a constant value i is equal to 5 so these uh, the two ways by which you can make the for loop infinite so this is all about the for loop in the next video we'll study about the while loop thank you